what the actual costs are, ladies and gentlemen. There's been a good deal of research on this. And, uh, you know, I once, uh, once dealt with a, a college newspaper that had on the door their, their motto, don't let the facts get in the way of a good news story. Uh, well, we, we ought not, uh, I would respectfully suggest we ought to let the facts get in the way of where we're headed if, if the facts are so. If you look, studies in other states have proven that optical scan machines with paper ballots are cheaper than the DRE systems. A comparison of two similar sized counties in North Carolina, ladies and gentlemen, showed that the cost using the optical scan saved on average about $4 per registered voter. The cost with the optical scan machines and the paper verification was less than half as much as the DREs. A study by the Supervisor of Elections in Miami-Dade County concluded the county could save up to $13 million over a five-year period if they switched from a DRE system like 93 of our counties have to an optical scan system. Now you say, well, well, how can that be? Well, a precinct only needs one optical scan machine versus multiple DRE machines. Only one machine has to be bought per precinct. Only one machine has to be maintained. Only one machine has to be stored instead of multiple machines at every precinct. And the counties with optical scan machines and paper verification have found them cheaper. I would respectfully suggest to you that actually the counties would save. I don't think it'll take as much money as the counties have estimated. How many times have we asked folks, how much is this going to cost you? And they've given us figures that were maybe not necessarily as their best guess, but not necessarily the hardest of figures. If you look, ladies and gentlemen, and do comparisons, in three or four of our counties in Tennessee, they estimate it'll cost $50 a ballot to audit a few hundred ballots. $50 a ballot. You know what the cost is in states that are using optical scan machines right now? Nine cents. Nine cents. Now we have some counties say it's going to cost them $50 a ballot when other states are doing it for nine cents a ballot. There are counties that estimate it'll cost them $20,000 extra to deliver 70% fewer machines. There are counties that estimate it's going to cost $700 a piece for privacy screens, ladies and gentlemen, when there are other counties that say they can get them for $20 a piece. $20 a piece, one thirty-fifth as much. There are counties that say they can get security containers for $25 a piece. You know what some counties estimated when we came up with the figures that we've been talking about tonight? $2,800 a security container. $25 versus $2,800. In, uh, in Williamson County, to conduct one single poll worker training session, they estimate it'll cost $39,000. $39,000. $39, there's one county that says that it'll cost them seventy thousand extra dollars to store ballots that would not fill up a single filing cabinet. And ladies and gentlemen, Shelby County was referred to earlier. The estimate cost them four point one million more to implement it. That county has never in its history spent that much for its total annual election related expenses in the history of the county. So I would tell you, ladies and gentlemen, I think the numbers vary so widely. On the face of the numbers, when you look at variances as much as 35 times as much, I think the numbers are questionable, suspect. I don't mean folks are being dishonest. They just don't know. But the bottom line, if you look at Amendment Number 5 is, Amendment Number 5 provides we're going to take care of the expense. It's not an unfunded mandate, but it is an opportunity for the counties and all of us to have elections we can rely upon. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.